Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are tied into the Google ecosystem, and just in case you hadn't heard, apparently Google Bard is going to be coming to the Google Assistant on selected mobile devices. Now, we don't really talk about mobile on this channel, but because we do talk about Google Bard, which is Google's AI chatbot assistant, I thought you may be interested in just to do a bit of a news update for those of you who are using Android mobile devices. Now, in case you're unaware, last year in October, Google announced that Bard was going to be coming to the Google Assistant. And 95 Google has posted an article, which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video, where basically um, they've taken a first glimpse uh, into some new features and design changes that Google may be rolling out with uh, Bard uh, in the Google Assistant and obviously this is subject to change and this could change by the time it actually rolls out to the general public. Now if we just head over to a couple of images provided by 95 Google, by what we are seeing um, it does seem that the Assistant with Bard uh, is going to be designed to basically replace uh, the existing Google Assistant on supported Android devices. So obviously this isn't going to be rolling out to all Android devices and at this stage I don't have a list of what those supported Android devices will be. And yeah, we can see that um, the Assistant with Bard will be very predominant on the Discover page of the Google search app. And according to 95 Google, it seems that you could also be able to launch it obviously by changing a couple of settings just like you do with the assistant by saying hey Google or basically long pressing the power button and it also seems that you will be able to switch between uh, performing a so-called normal Google search and then getting help from the actual AI chatbot. Now heading to a couple of other images here we can see that um, you'll be able to submit new prompts and or questions to uh, the assistant with Bard using the three buttons here at the bottom um, of the actual assistant now with the AR um, being integrated into that. So you can type or speak a message and or share a photo with the assistant. So here's just a couple of screenshots. That's sharing an image. And there we go. What would you like to do today? So that just gives, gives us a couple of um, glimpses into what this may all be about. And then there's also going to be apparently a new Bard setup prompt. So Google search basically will um, display this very so-called prominent message which will want you to upgrade your assistant to include Bard AR features. So it seems at this stage that you will have the option if your device supports it to be able to upgrade your assistant to Bard and here we can see maybe later or try now and then obviously if you click on try now it will then set up the new Bard as part of your AI assistant and the Google assistant. And here we can see in the description, try assistant with Bard, it reads Google's experimental AI assistant can help when inspiration strikes or you just need to get things done, talk text or take a photo to get started. So basically it's very similar to what we get over on the desktop uh, version of Google Bard. And as at this stage, um, obviously this um, Bard being integrated into Google Assistant is not yet available to the general public. But according to 95 Google and that post, which as I mentioned will be down in the description, um, we can expect, I think, the official launch be to, to be taking place quite soon. So I would say possibly in the first quarter of this year, 2024. But if any more info does become available, because we do talk about Google Bard on the channel, I may from time to time just keep you updated regarding the fact that it's coming to mobile devices to possibly replace and be integrated or integrated into the Google Assistant. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.